Welcome to What's Working Now, where I share with you what's working in my eight-figure e-commerce business. I currently run a, a physical product, direct-to-consumer e-commerce brand. We do a couple million dollars in revenue per month. We're driven by paid ads and content marketing and sales and emails and all kinds of fun stuff. And I also run a company called Smart Marketer, which is what you're engaging with now, where we do we publish information about what's working in our businesses. And I run Zipify Apps, which is a Shopify store, uh, Shopify app development company that helps people up. Shopify stores, you know, perform better with those stores, have those stores make them more money, make them more sales, make it easier for their customers to shop. And today I'm going to be sharing with you an example from my e-commerce business. This is working so well for me right now. And I believe that like one of the most important parts of your business is how you are getting people's attention, the advertisements, the videos, the images that you're putting in front of them to get them to know about you. And so there's a formula that I developed late last year, kind of a June or July of 2019 called love demo love. You've heard me talk about it before. I'm going to give you a refresher on it and then I'm going to share with you what's working for us January, February of 2020. I'm filming this February some odd of 2020 and uh, I'm going to share with you what's happened in January and February, how this formula has evolved. So this is a video advertisement formula that works across the spectrum of businesses, whether you're selling e-commerce, information, coaching, consulting, services, software, this video ad formula works. I'm using it in all those places and my mastermind members of my Blue Ribbon Mastermind are also using it. So I have spent millions of dollars on this particular ad formula of getting people to know about my brand, putting it in front of people who don't know about me, and telling them, hey, this is who I am and this is what I have to offer and having them want to buy from me. That's the whole point of an ad, right? Get someone to know who you are, get them to understand the problem that your product solves and get them to want to buy from you. So let's quickly take a look at the computer here. I'll go through the formula, then I'll come back and talk to you a little bit about the update we've made and then I'll show you our ads that are running right now. So here we go. So the way this video formula works is it starts with love, which is a face to camera customer testimonial or multiple face to camera customer testimonials. In my case, I do three or four women face to camera, 10 seconds a pop talking about the benefit of, the, of my product, why they use my product, why they like it, what it's done for them, how it's changed their life. And then I go into a demonstration of the product in use. So I start with love. Then I do a demo. I don't start with a product demo. I start with someone, you know, coming out with an enthusiastic, um, you know, compelling testimonial essentially of my product and what it's done for them. Then I demonstrate the product in use. And then I end with more love, more face to camera customer testimonials where people are talking about the value of the use of the product. The, the key about ads is you must demonstrate something called ownership benefit. That's the number one thing you want to demonstrate is what is the benefit of owning this product in your ad? You'll notice here that we have women of all different age range. You got to make sure that the people who are representing your product in advertisements look like the people that you're selling to. And what we found is that there was a little bit of reverse ageism going on because we sell to women over 50. Turns out women in their 60s don't want to hear about the experience of aging or beauty or cosmetics from women in their 40s, right? So if you look back at the screen here at some of these ads, you'll notice that we've got women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, etc., and we're running those to the particular age ranges. I want to point out that we are doing square videos, but notice that the video is still a 16 by 9 or rectangle ratio, but we have edited in our own headline above the video in the video canvas and we've edited in our own very big easy to read captions and we find that this gets us more screen real estate on mobile as well as makes it easier to read the captions because 87 percent of videos are played on facebook without audio uh, and it works way better because we get an additional headline we don't just have copy in the text above the video unit on the Facebook ad, we actually have text in the video itself. Uh, notice that we also have a call to action down below. That is what we call an ownership benefit statement, a makeup bag in three little sticks. That's the benefit of owning the product as well as some sales copy above. We're using a very specific sales copy formula here. Uh, let me show that to you. We're using social proof, a customer testimonial as the first thing in our ad. It's not us saying we're awesome. It's a customer saying that we are awesome. That's social proof. Then we have an ownership benefit statement. 
These simple sheer cosmetic sticks give every woman the look of happiness, joy, and vitality, all with a five-minute application. So we're saying, hey, look, you're going to get the look of being happy, of, of being joyful, of being vital, and it's going to be fast. That's an ownership benefit statement, but we don't start with that. We start with social proof. Then we've got the additional headline edited in, the mobile video square canvas, the edited in captions, and some ownership benefit copy down at the bottom. That's one of our best ad formulas. So notice I'll play a couple of these for you just to show you a uh, uh, you know, reminder of this love demo love formula. Let's, let's take a look at one of these ads that's working really well for us. I use the glow glimmer and the color and it's beautiful. They just um, go on very easy. You can, you know, I change them. One can be um, the lipstick and then the eyeshadow and then on the cheeks. It's great. I so she starts with the, the name of the product and how she uses them and how they're wonderful, what they do for her and how much she likes it. And then I, I didn't play this properly. I use the glow glimmer. Great. I've been using the Boom products already for three years. Transitions into another woman and then another woman and then it goes into a product demo and then has more women at the end. Let me show you, uh, I'm going to play it fast, a uh, full screen of this where I'm, I'm skipping through it. I bought the sticks. It's one woman, in this case, we're doing one, one woman only, then we've got our demo, and then we've got another woman at the end. So we're just doing one and one. You don't necessarily need more than one person demonstrating your product, talking about the value of it at the beginning or at the end. It's kind of fun to have multiple, but you can try both. So that is just a reminder of the love demo love formula. Essentially, it's called the testimonial sandwich is another way to describe it. Testimonial product demonstration, product benefit, you talking about the value of your product as a company, customer testimonial. To get new people to know who you are, this formula is absolutely doing better than anything we've ever come up with before. So now I'm gonna take you into my ad account. I'm gonna show you how much we've spent on new people since January 1st of 2020 with this formula. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the copy formulas and some of the ads that are in there so you can get a sense of how we've modified this over time. Okay, so here we are inside of my Facebook ads account. You'll notice I have it set from January 1st, 2020 to February 18th, 2020, which is, you know, the first of the year through today. I'm going to select our top line awareness ad set here. This is the ad set, the campaign rather, that is designed to get new people to know about us. We have it set at a $22,000 a day budget. I know that seems out of reach for most. We're an established brand. We spend a lot of money but this works at $100 a day, $50 a day, et cetera. We've reached 6 million women in that time span, a total of 26,951,000 times. We've reached them four times a pop. We've had 724,000 clicks at a dollar a piece with an 11% click-through rate. It's a really, really good click-through rate. We've had 48,000 add to carts. That's cost us about 16 bucks per add to cart. We've had 19,000 purchases at $40 a pop. We've generated 1.5 million in revenue from 800,000 or so in spend, 659,000 link clicks with a 1.96 return on ad spend. So we've almost doubled our money from what we spent. To give you a sense of that, that is, an inc that is incredible. I'm spending on average $40 to get a new customer in the door, which by the way, how much it costs to get a new customer in the door, a cost per acquisition is different based on the market, based on who you're targeting, based on your price point, based on what you're selling, based on how long get someone to say yes to buying from you. It could be anywhere from $5 to $150 and that could work for a different business model. So don't take my numbers as a barometer for how much you should spend on a customer acquisition. Although, since we're talking about it, I will give you a good barometer on what you should spend. You should never spend, in my opinion, as someone who's been advertising since 2005, as someone who has spent tens of millions of dollars amplifying their own brands on Facebook, comes directly from my experience, you should never spend more than double your profit to acquire someone in the awareness pillar. Keep in mind, there's retargeting, which is the next pillar down, which is where you're re-engaging people who know about you. And then there's loyalty where you're upselling and cross-selling people who've already bought from you. And you make a lot of money in those pillars. In the awareness pillar, we're getting new people in the door. You should never spend more than double your profit on an order. So if you, your average order value is 80 bucks and your profit on that is 40 bucks, you should never spend more than 80 on the awareness pillar. Now for us, that's about right for us. On a, for us, it's about you know $90 average order value with about 40 to 50 in profit. So we would never want to spend more than 80 to 100 to get a new customer in the door. So spending 40 to get a new customer in the door is, I mean, it's the best we've done since 2016. And it's all because of this creative formula. Right now, creative is what it's about. 
on Facebook and Instagram. It's not about targeting because they kind of do that for you after you've got some, you know, you've set up some targeting, you, you go in and you do it once and then the pixel optimizes for you. It's all about creative optimization, getting good ads in front of people that are gonna compel them. So now that you see we're having our best year ever in our top line, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ads themselves. So I'm going to sort these by the number of purchases. So this is our number one ad, 2,754 purchases at $35 a pop, spent 97,000 to make 221,000, very high relevance score with a 2.28 return on ad spend. Let's take a look at this advertisement. So I'm gonna go ahead and view it actually in the Facebook, oh, here we go. We can see it in the desktop feed. I'll zoom out just a little bit here. Okay, couple things to note. The first is we've got a square. We've made it into a square, right? It was a ver Up my face. It was a, um, I'll play it for you in just a second, but it was a vertical iPhone video. We've extended that and put colors on the outside of it here, right? So you can see that it's, it makes it much easier to see this woman talking about what she loves about us. Also notice, that we are opening up our sales copy with an emoji. And then we're just telling a little bit of a story about this woman. Kim changed her makeup routine and the compliments started rolling in. See what she does for a beautiful radiant look in just minutes. So we're saying, hey, you know, Kim made a change and she started getting compliments, which is what she says. So we're echoing what she said and see what she did. And you'll be able to get the same radiant look in just minutes. We know that one of the things that women over 50 are interested in is not a big giant makeup routine that they had in their twenties, but a much quicker way of applying cosmetics of their skincare routine. They don't want to be spending all day doing it all morning, doing it. They'd like it to be a little bit quicker, which is one of the things that our products offer. So we're touching that, touching on that here in the ad copy. Okay. Back to the ad itself. Notice that we have a text link call to action above the video that takes them to this, in, in this case, uh, an article pre-sale page, but sometimes a product page. Uh, so they don't have to click below the video, they can click above. Then we have captions edited in with text overlay. We're not using Facebook's captions, we've edited these in ourselves. In this case, she's doing a demonstration talking about why she loves our products. Then we go into a little bit of a story about, I'll just skip through her demo, which is quite long actually. Uh, we go into a little bit of a story about who we are, then we go into our own demo. And then at the end, we have more love. So it's a love demo love video. And then we have a headline makeup in just in under four minutes. So notice that all the copy is focused on one unique selling proposition. In this case, the fast application of your makeup routine. Very successful ad. Let's take a look at our next love demo love video that's performing for us. Notice in this case, 2,000, 2 million impressions. Each person's seen it 1.6 times a pop, 75,000 clicks, 6% click-through rate. We've got 1,700 purchases at $40 a pop, 70,000 to make 135. So our website ROAS, or return on ad spend is 1.92, really amazing for a top line video ad for new people to know about us. Now let's look at the structure of this advertisement. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. I want you to notice that we're starting with five star emojis. So our copy, we're, we're noticing that short form copy is performing really well. So we're using the star emojis here because that is um, an image form of what people perceive to be social proof. Now our, star, our products are five star rated, so it has integrity. So we're starting with that and then we're saying, see why over 25,000 reviewers are obsessed with these three little best-selling cosmetic sticks. So one of the things that I wanna tell you about is that see why X are X about our product works. See why 13 women, uh, you know, bought all the product, bought all the makeup sticks that this company had because they're boomsticks. I mean, that's not a good example of it, but, but see why X people have done X thing because of X product works. That's a lot of X's, but um, you know, see why nine dentists recommended uh, you know, this particular product or see why nine dentists had all their patients buy this product. So see why someone did something and then relate it to your product winning formula. We use that all the time. And in this case, we're saying see, we have over 25,000 reviews on this particular product. See why over 25,000 reviewers are obsessed with these three little, three best-selling little cosmetic sticks. So it's social proof in the form of images, social proof, short form ad copy. And then we have our video ad and let me play it for you. I'm just going to um, turn off the sound. So give me just a minute. Hi. Okay. 
So again, we've edited in our own captions. We've made them bigger. In this case, she's showing off our product. She's showing how she uses it. She's showing why she loves it so much. And then it's literally the same rest of the video, right? It's just a new opening. Then it's a little bit of our story, our own product demo, and then more social proof at the end. So it's love, demo, love. And then we've got makeup and just makeup in under just two minutes because she says she does it in two minutes. Watch Liz's demo to see how easy makeup can be. And then I'll just show you one more, which is a little bit different. Now, I want you to notice that this ad here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So those are some of the new love demo loves and the copy formulas. But I wanna show you this ad right here, which has a thousand purchases at $36 a pop. So not as much as some of the other ads, but this ad is gonna get shown in different placements. It's a completely different formula. So what this is, is a what it does, who it's for, and then a call to action. So this basically says, this is what the product does, this is who it's for, and then go buy it. There's no audio at all. Let's watch it. It's just music. It says, this is the Boomstick Trio. It's your makeup bag, your entire makeup bag in three simple steps. It's got over 25,000 five-star reviews. Go buy it. So basically it's saying, hey, it, the copy is five emoji stars. So the same thing. And then it says this five-star rated a makeup is a game changer, a whole bag and just three little sticks. Get our five makeup tips below, call to action. And then it says three little sticks, 25,000 five-star reviews. So this is focused solely on the product, the social proof of it, what it does, who it's for, and then it tells them to go buy it. And the reason this works, because if this was the only ad we had, it would not work but it's being shown to the, it's much shorter, right? It's 15 seconds. So it's being shown in all these placements that our longer form videos are not. So one of the things that you have to understand is in addition to your long form love demo love, you have to supplement with short form educational call to action product uh, ads about your product. Doesn't need voiceover, just needs to be moving animation that educates with text overlay on the value of the product and what it does. And it's gonna get shown to all the people who saw the long form ads in different placements. You're going to get more visibility to your audience because you're going to be shown in placements that the long form ads will not get shown. Mid-roll video ads, Instagram stories, things like that. So one more love demo love here, the final one, and then I'm going to show you one more ad that we're using to supplement to get more inventory. So same exact copy, but in this case, we've edited in the caption that also does um, some social proof at the top, and I'm going to play this for you. Hi. This is Beth. She's talking about why she loves our product. Same thing, love at the beginning, shows a product demo, then our story, then our own product demo here at the end, and then some social proof to close it out. So we're just transitioning the intro. And then we have a headline here, one stick and she was hooked. So that's another love demo love. And then let me show you one more ad. Take a look at this one. This ad is just supplementing visibility, right? We've got the emoji stars, we've got the customer testimonial. Let me go mobile and see if I can get all the copy. I'll actually show it to you on the actual Facebook so you can see the full ad and the full ad copy here. Okay, so what you can see here is five emoji stars, customer testimonial, women have given our Boomstick Trio over 24,000 five-star reviews. This is actually outdated because it's 25,000 now. But look, social proof in images, social proof in customer testimonial, social proof where we're telling you why we're awesome. And then we say, find out why. Click below and see what these sticks can do for you. And then we go to another article pre-sale page with an emoji bullet point. Then we've got a call, it's a call to action. So it's like social proof, social proof, us telling you why we're awesome, call to action. And this is just an image ad. That's it, text overlay, static image, and then women love these sticks using an emoji. Look at this ad real quick. I just wanna show you. This ad has gotten 334,000 reach, 2.6 frequency, 95 cents a click, and it's generated 279 purchases at $35 a pop. I would not have gotten those additional 235 purchases without supplementing with an image ad. So you must have a top line, long form, customer acquisition strategy, ad strategy that is made up of video ads in the form, in my opinion, of Love Demo Love, also known as the testimonial sandwich. You must iterate. Use, notice that we went from using one woman. That was it. We only had one of these. To now we've got a whole bunch of them, different ages, different women, showing the, demonstrating, talking from different parts of the country. Like, I'm going to point out something interesting to you. Go back and listen to Beth. I want you to listen to her voice. 
Hi, I'm Beth and I'm 59 years old. Eight months ago, I started using Boone Cosmetics and I love their philosophy. If you had to guess, where would you say Beth was from? Likely somewhere in the South. I believe she's actually from Georgia. This ad is getting more delivery to Georgia, Iowa, and these places in the middle of the country and the South where people have different accents. And so Facebook actually is testing that on your behalf. They're gonna deliver ads to the people that they think are most likely, they're gonna deliver it to everyone and they're gonna notice, oh man, George is really resonating with this particular ad and they're gonna deliver it more there. This is why creative iteration is the most important thing you could do in today's advertising game. So what's working well for me, the, this is the best my ads have ever performed. I'm 10 years into my business. It's a 10 year anniversary of Boom this year. And I'm having my best advertising year ever. When everybody else is complaining about rising costs and everybody else is complaining about they can't get ads to work. Love demo love, it's working for all my students, it's working for me, and what I'm doing is I'm iterating and I'm creating and I'm getting more assets and I'm testing short form and long form and I'm supplementing with GIF animations, I'm supplementing with images. So I created a mini course called How to Run an Ambassador Program. I created it with my, my social media director, Laura Palladino, talks to you about how we're actually getting people to give these assets to us, exactly what we're doing to get these assets, which I think are the most important assets that you could possibly ever create for your brand, uh, how we're getting them. And it walks you step by step. If you're interested in that, comment under this video, ambassador program, or I want your ambassador program, or I wanna buy that course. It's a very affordable, I'll send you a little video that breaks down what it is, and you have the opportunity to purchase that course really in depth super affordable, good price, and frankly, I think one of the best things we've ever created in terms of a course that teaches you one individual strategy that can change your business. So comment under this video, say, I want your ambassador program course. I'll send you a link to a, it's not even out yet. I'll send you a link to a backdoor page where you can get it at a discount. You'll be one of the first people to get access to it. You'll get it at a 30% discount from what we're actually gonna sell it for. And you'll be first to market to create these incredible ambassador program videos. You don't need our course. It's really, really amazing. It'll teach you exactly how we're doing. It'll give you our templates. It'll give you our contracts. It'll give you our communications. It'll give you everything we're doing. But you could just go ahead and do this on your own if you want and copy this strategy. Or you could you know, train deeper with us. Either way is good. My name is Ezra Firestone. This has been What's Working Now. Thanks for watching.